<clears throat> Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. I myself have been through different types of stages and grace periods of my life in terms of a career. And my career has transitioned uh, every few years to something a little different because the world changes and opportunities open and people do that in life. They make shifts, they make changes, they make total differences in their life. They go for different paychecks, they go for different hourly wages, or they go for different time management stages. What I'm talking about today, though, is my food initiative that has been kind of established here in the Champaign area and prior to that in my own home state. My encouragement to people who want to feed the homeless who are truly homeless, meaning they're not food insecure and that they're living at a poverty line where finances are tough and that they truly are homeless. It is very difficult to carry canned goods, which is the only thing I recommend to give homeless people in terms of food, unless you have an establishment that they can get it on a daily basis, like fresh vegetables and stuff is good, but you have to check people's food needs and food sensitivities and food allergies before you give them food. But my point is that for someone who's a total stranger to you, that you're not establishing a long relationship to, my best recommendation is that you go to one of your favorite fast food restaurants or quality restaurants, if you will, where someone can sit down and have a good meal in a nice pocket corner and be treated with good service, despite how they might look or how, how they might smell, is that openly you would allow them the gift of a gift card. And the gift card you would buy with cash so that it cannot be recharged by the homeless person accidentally or intentionally or mismanaged and misappropriated of your funds by any employee who is doing things immorally. So my recommendation is at least a $10 gift card. $5 is fine if you're sending someone to McDonald's or a fast food place where they have a $5 or $6 meal because a person might have some pocket change to add to that. But, you know, a kind gift card is usually $10 or $20. If you want to be really generous, you can give them something larger. And usually I recommend that for a homeless person, it's also kind to give them sort of a gift card to a, a different type of place, such as a grocer or something like a gas station where they actually sell food. But those are my recommendations, and openly it's a great way because it doesn't require you to slip food in your car. It doesn't require the homeless person to carry a lot of extra weight because they're busy carrying their small amounts of clothes and their blankets for the night and maybe even a mat or two to be comfortable on the concrete or wherever they choose to lay down and get, their, get off their feet. In life, we have moments of time to prove who we are in the way that we believe ourselves to be in the world. The worst thing you can do is insult someone by expecting them to take your leftover foods because you've literally been spitting on them or the people who are working over them may not be fully healed or could have some sort of flu as we head into the cold temperatures. If you want to do other things for homeless, my best recommendation, if you're trying to establish kind of a quality, longer-term relationship, even if it's only for the short term, is to simply point, black, point off and say the simple question of, I notice that you might be traveling today and that's a polite way to imply they're homeless. Is there anything I could do for you today with my resources that might help you get through today or with your goals today? And that sort of establishes the question. And they might say, well, I haven't eaten today. And with that, you can either apply them with a $5 bill or a $10 bill or a $20 bill if you so choose, or you can simply say, let me go and get you a gift card. Where's the most local restaurant to you or the most local place that it's easy for you to get food? And they can tell you and you can run off and do that. 